Hello students, welcome back. Once again, this is Dr. Mercado. I hope all of you are doing well. And um, this is going to be um, the last exercise I'm going to be covering this week uh, dealing with Chapter 3, the Double Entry Framework. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the problem or the exercise that we're going to be covering. Here we go. Now this exercise deals with the trial balance. Okay, so uh, before we go into the actual problem, I do want to provide some information about what a trial balance is. And this is coming from your um, textbook. Um, a trial balance is prepared periodically to determine the equality of debits and credits. Now the trial balance, sometimes students get confused. They think it's an actual financial statement. A trial balance is not a financial statement. It's just a tool to help us make sure that our debits are in balance with our credits. We have so many transactions going on. Um, these are small transactions what we've been going um, through in our exercises are very small transactions in comparison to what actually happens in a real business in a real business you might have a hundred two hundred a thousand two thousand transactions a day so um, posting those transactions to the journal transferring to the ledgers it's, it's, it's very time consuming and mistakes can be made so what a trial balance does it basically just helps us ensure that we are equal that our debits equal credits okay now, in this um, particular textbook, because we are at the introductory level, they still don't uh, explain the trial balance much in detail, but I'm going to provide another piece of information that's useful. Um, when we are organizing our trial balance, it needs to be organized in a specific manner, okay? So, the accounts should appear in a specific order. The first thing that you should have are your assets, then your liabilities, then your equity, then your drawings, your revenues, and last but not least, your expenses. That is a specific order that needs to be followed when you're transferring or where you're um, preparing your trial balance. Always your assets, then your liabilities, equity, drawings, revenue, and expenses. And your assets should be based on liquidity, the most liquid assets first, so on and so forth. As we progress through the chapters, we are going to be assigning account numbers to each account. So cash is going to have its account number, accounts receivable is going to have its account number. Once we get to that point, then we are going to be organizing our trial balance based on account number, which makes it a lot easier because then it's on a numerical number uh, sequence. Okay, But for now, just make sure that when we are preparing our uh, trial balance, we do follow the assets, liabilities, equity, drawings, revenues, and expenses. So basically, a trial balance um, is a list of all of the accounts that we have showing the title and the balance of each account, only the ending balance. So where are we picking up these balances from? They're not appearing by magic. These accounting, these balances are coming from your general ledgers. So you post your transactions to your journal, you transfer your information from your journal to your ledger, you foot each of your ledgers, so you get an ending balance for each of your ledgers, and then that is where we're getting the ending balances for each of our accounts, okay? So it's not magic. We do all of that stuff, okay? Uh, but we are doing bits and pieces here. In this particular example, they've given you all of the information. All we have to do is transfer the information provided over and prepare our trial balance. Okay, so that was just a little overview of what's going on. So exercise 3.9, they're asking, they're asking us to prepare a trial balance and it says the following accounts have normal balances. Prepare a trial balance for Kenny's lawn service as of September the 30th. When we prepare a trial balance, we always put the name of the business on the first line. So this is Kenny's lawn service. On the middle part, we put the trial balance, the report name. This is the trial balance. And the last part is the uh, period. In this case, it's September the 30th. Okay. So if they've given you the account balances. All we have to do is transfer the information over. Now, it's very important here because all they're giving you is the, um, the balance. It's not telling you if it's a debit or a credit. Okay. So this is where you're going to have to put your head into it because you have to know what is the normal balance of each of your accounts. Okay. So, uh, and it says here, that each of the accounts have normal balances. So you need to know the normal balances of your accounts. And I'm not gonna go over the normal balances of your accounts because that, it has already been covered. So you should be able to go back and locate that information if you're not sure 
um, what your normal balances of your accounts is. I'm going to go back to um, exercise 3.5, which we had covered previously. I have my accounting equation here. Um, these are the normal balances of your accounts, okay? So um, I'm going to be using this, um, or you can use this as guidance. For assets, my normal balance is a debit. For liabilities, my normal balance is a credit. For owner's equity, my normal balance is a credit. For drawing, my normal balance is a debit. For expenses, my normal balance is a debit. And for revenues, my normal balance is a credit. Okay, so just the information is provided in your book. Go back and review it. Okay, okay, so let's get started. Let's get started with cash. Okay, cash is the first account we have. It's the most liquid asset we have. That's going to go way on top. Cash is an asset account. Okay, the normal balance of an asset account is a debit okay accounts receivable accounts receivable is when someone owes us money that is also an asset okay the normal balance of an asset is a debit okay so let me let me put here while we're doing this okay normal balances okay so I'm gonna put here the account this is just for us for reference that way you can have and then the normal balance okay that way you can have it here for notes okay so if an account is an asset but you need to know what an asset account is and an asset is anything you own an asset has a normal balance of a debit oh, debit right here okay this is just for our reference okay this is not part of the problem this is just so we can know have the information available right here okay so cash is an asset, normal balance is a debit. Accounts receivable is an asset, normal balance is a debit. Supplies, do you own the supplies? Yes, you do. If you own the supplies, then they're an asset. An asset has a normal balance of a debit. And why am I putting 10,000? It should be 6,000 for my accounts receivable and 1,600 for my supplies. You see how easy it is to make a mistake? Okay, always alert, alert, alert. Okay, prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance means that we've paid the insurance in advance, okay? Prepaid insurance is an asset, okay? My normal balance is a debit, okay? And that is $1,200. Mowing equipment, this is some equipment that we have. Mowing equipment, equipment. Mowing equipment is also an asset. So my normal balance is a debit and I've got 16,000 in mowing equipment, okay? So all of these are my assets, okay? So I'm going to put these are my assets right here, okay? So my normal balance of my assets are debits, okay? So all of these highlighted in orange are assets. So they're all going to be debits. Now we move to the next one. Accounts payable, okay? Accounts payable is a liability, liability, okay? The normal balance of a liability is a credit, okay? So accounts payable, okay, uh, is a liability. It's, if anything you owe is a liability, okay? It could be accounts pay, uh, payable, wages payable, notes payable, mortgage payable. Anything that has the word payable is a liability. Anything that's a liability has a credit balance, a normal credit balance, okay? So accounts payable has a balance of $4,000. That's going to go on your credit column, okay? Okay, so I have one accounts payable account, and I'm going to highlight that one green, okay? My liabilities are going to be green, okay? Then I have my capital account, okay? Kenny Young Capital, okay? Okay. Your capital account okay, has a normal balance of a credit. Okay, so here we have a capital of twenty thousand dollars. Okay, and that has a normal balance of a credit. Okay, so let's do capital in another color. Okay, let's do pink for capital. That way I'm color coding them, that, you, that way you know which ones are my assets, my liabilities, and your capital, okay? 
After your capital, you have your drawings. Okay. We have Kenny Young drawing. Okay. This is when the owner withdrew money from the business. Okay. The drawing account has a normal balance of a debit. Okay. And this particular case, uh, they withdrew two thousand dollars. So I'm going to have a debit of two thousand. Okay. So let me highlight this another color. It's the blue. So drawing will have a normal balance of a debit. Okay. And after your drawings, we have your revenue accounts. We have one account called moving fees. This is our revenues. No, not moving fees. Mowing fees. Sorry about that. It's mowing fees. We are, this is a landscaping business. Okay. So it's mowing fees. Okay. So your revenue accounts. Okay. Revenue. Have a normal balance of a credit. Okay. And let me go ahead and highlight that with a different color. Okay. So mowing fees, how much do we make in mowing fees for the month? 18,800. And it's a normal balance of a credit. Okay. Mowing fees. There we go. Okay. And then last but not least, we have our expenses. Okay. So we have two expenses. We have wages expense and we have rent expense. Okay. Now our expenses, okay, have a normal balance of a debit. Okay. And let's mark those of, let's do um, purple. There we go. Okay, so we've got two expenses and the normal balance for my expenses is going to be a debit. So I'm going to have 4,200 debit and 1,800 debit right there. Okay. Okay, so we've got everything color coded. Okay, the orange are your assets. The greens are your liabilities. The pinks are your capital. The blue is your drawing. The green is your revenue, and then the purple are your expenses. This is the order that they have to go, okay? And that's how we organize them. And then the normal balances have to be for assets, debit, liabilities, credit, capital, credit, drawings, debit, revenue, credit, expenses, debit, okay? You don't have to memorize a million things in accounting. This is one of the million things that you do have to memorize. You do need to know your normal balances of your accounts by heart. Okay. Make a poem, write a song, do whatever you need to do to get this information memorized. Okay. Learn it by heart because you're going to be learn, uh, using it the entire semester. And if you're going to be using, uh, doing accounting, you're going to do it, use it for the rest of your lives. So this is something that you do need to know. So print it out and you know, practice it and learn it. Okay. Okay. So we are done. Those are all of the transactions. I've transferred them over. Well, now we need to make sure that we balance. Okay. That is the whole point of the trial balance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my debit column, everything in your debit column. And I'm going to add everything in my credit column. Okay. And I'm using Excel so I can just do a formula. If not, you just get your calculator and do it. But debits and credits get added. Okay. And then they have to equal. Okay. If they don't equal, then there's some kind of mistake. Okay. We need to fix it. Okay. In this case, we did an awesome job. Debit column, 42,800. Credit column, 42,800. Our trial balance is in balance. We are good to go. Okay. So you see, very easy to prepare your trial balance. Now I know that my um, accounting equation is basically imbalanced. It does not guarantee that everything has been recorded correctly, but at least it gives us some peace of mind that our debits equal our credits. Okay. So that is it. This is just some useful information. Um, I'm teaching you how to prepare a trial balance and then a little bit of background information on it so you can practice. Okay. So 
that is it you do have some additional um, homework problems that I am not covering I'm gonna let you all tackle those on your own if you encounter any issues problems do you have any concerns please don't hesitate to reach out to me I'm here to help you just make sure that you include um, your question number your attempted solution and your specific question or questions or concerns so I can provide guidance okay I'm not gonna give you the answer I'm just gonna give you some guidance as to okay Based on what you've provided me, this is what you're doing right, this is what you're doing wrong, go back and correct this, this is how you need to get it done, and then you should be good to go, okay? Um, if you have any questions, concerns, please let me know. And that is it. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and until next time. Thank you.